hello everyone so today i'll be doing a new type of video this is called rapid fire so i'm going to choose a few structured questions from a selected lesson and we are going to do it under target time so this question is from 2011 question number eight from part uh, part two which is the applied paper two friends attempt independently to solve a problem there are probabilities of success being 1 over 3 and 1 over 4. Find the probability that question number 1, both of them will succeed in following the problem. Question number 2, none of them will succeed in solving the problem. Alright, so we are going to start with our question from 2011, question number 8. Success rates mean uh, 1 over 3 and 1 over 4. So, so both success means you did the multiple of this. Both failing will be the complement of this. So, okay, so the, the first question is done. So in the question 2013, question number 7, let A, B and C be three mutually exclusive and exhaustive events of a sample space omega. Is it possible to have the probabilities P A union B is equal to half, P B union C is equal to half and P C union A is equal to 2 over 3 simultaneously? Justify your answer. The time target for this question will be 2 minutes. So these are the data given for this question. So let's continue with the question. All right. So this is the data we have. And okay, let's start. Give me a moment. All right. So so what they've asked us in this question is uh, if it's possible to have this probability simultaneously. So let's check. So we have PA plus PB is equal to half 1 PB plus PC is equal to half equation 2 Equation 3. So if we add all these three, we are going to get uh, 2 into So this is what we will be getting and uh, they are asking us to justify if it's possible. So PA plus uh, PB is equal to uh, P U and B. So let's see if we will be getting the answer to it.
where it is not equal to 1. Therefore, this is not possible. Alright, so we are done with this question too. So moving on to 2013, question number 8. Let A and B be two events of the sample space omega. Show that if P A slash B is equal to P A slash B dash, then A and B are independent, where B dash denotes the complementary event of B. So the target time of, for this question is 2 minutes. Okay, so let's move on to the question. So what we need to do in this question is to show that uh, A and B are independent events. So this is what we are given in the show that. So let's continue with our question. So so this can be written as uh, P A. So we need to cancel off and what we get by you. So let's move on to 2016 question number 7. Let A and B be two events of a sample space omega. In the usual notation, P A is equal to P, P B is equal to P by 2, and P A union B minus P A intersection B is equal to 2P by 3, where P A where P is greater than 0. Find P A intersection B in terms of P. Deduce that if A and B are independent events, uh, the probability the value of PB P is equal to 5 over 6 okay okay so this is what we have to show in this question uh, we have been given the data values and we have to find PA into section B and after that using that value we have to deduce that P is equal to 5 by 6 so let's start
uh, we a intersection is 5 or 12 and uh, using that we are asking us to value that uh, this is equal to 5 by 6 uh, given that a and b are independent events so independent events p if we know our theory p a intersection b is equal to p a into p b so 5 p by 2 over here is equal to p into p by 2 so we have 5 p right here Two two cancels P is equal to five by six, and that's done with this question. Moving on to two thousand seventeen. Let A and B be two events of the sample space omega. In the usual notation, it is given that P A union B is equal to four or five. P A intersection A dash a union B dash is equal to 5 over 6 and PB uh, slash A is equal to 1 over 4 find PA and PB okay so let's move on to the question for this one I'll give you three minutes okay so the data for the question of 2017 uh, question number 7 has been given so we need to find PA and PB so while you're figuring out how to do this question i'll give you a small hint so since we have uh, a intersection a un a dash so union b dash that is basically a intersection b dash so from that we can find uh, using the complementary events we can find a intersection b and uh, since we know uh, since we know that we can apply that to the conditional probability which is one equals four and then find p a and since we know P A and we know all the other values, we can substitute it in the set theorem formula, and then after that we can find D B. So this is how we do. That's how we do the question. So let's start. Let's uh, go on with the real question. All right. So here we go. So we know 4 or 5 is equal to 2 or 3 plus 3. So we can write 2 or 3 as 4 by 6. Minus 1 or 6. Alright, so then we have half left here.
Let's move on to the next question. So let's move on to our final question. Let A and B be two event are two events in a sample space S with the usual notation P A is equal to one or three, P B is equal to one or four, and P A intersection B is equal to one or six. Find P A slash B dash P A slash I'm sorry P A intersection uh, PA mm, dash intersection B dash and PB dash slash A dash where A dash and B dash denote complementary events of A and B respectively so this is will be our final question and we'll take four minutes for this question moving on to our question what we need to uh, find is first uh, P A intersection B dash so this is how we find it We know this now, um, what we need to find finally is this. So, I'll be using this. So 
sa final lang so, so that's it so please tell me about how this rapid fire uh, questions were and uh, please let me know if you like more videos like this thank you